uh, final bit of the installation video from today, first day with the Husqvarna. Um, the, you don't need these white lines all over your lawn, you'll be pleased to know. This is a front lawn and the far li line there is the um, outside wire. There's also an inside wire that is just next to the mowing strip and the, the line in the middle is the wire for the guidance wire. Um, and the reason we've got a guidance wire is because our front lawn is separated from our back lawn um, by quite a narrow corridor and if it was just to have the two boundary wires it would bounce off them. So this is the guide wire I'm following here. There's also a guide wire that comes off one of the perimeter guide wires that goes around the island and again this is where there's going to be another mowing strip installed. Um, so the white lines is just why I'm putting the mowing strip in. The mowing strip will be the far side of the yellow lines um, and the theory is that uh, the white lines will stop me going through the guide wires while I'm doing the installation of that. So this is the narrowest point of the garden. Um, it did cause them some concerns but uh, it seemed to have um, worked fine when they were setting it up and it found its way back to its little charging station in the back garden. Um, we've got it set so it's running from 11 in the morning till 6 in the evening. It's half 5 uh, but it parked itself up because it's gone on charge. So I don't see it'll be coming out. So again, the guide wire, mowing strip with a guide wire that's buried in this little line here. And then on this side we'll have a mowing strip with a block that side and the guide wire set the same distance as on that side. And the guide wire just takes it back. The back lawn, it just cuts randomly, so the, the, the area is zoned and away it goes. Uh, that's it for now.